is no. found on no. page 19 of your program. And I forgot to remind everybody if uh, are you to turn off your cell phones or at least to silence them. Please welcome Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Linda Ron, and I am so thrilled to be here today to share with you some of my favorite works. I became absolutely fascinated with the music of our time, of 20th century and 21st century, during the final years of my high school years. And during that time, my teacher during that time was and still is a great advocate for new music. And he had actually been the one to give the premiere of these preludes by the Canadian composer Howard Bashaw, which I will be playing for you today. Nevertheless, I can't say I was particularly eager to learn them when I first received a score because the harmonic language and the way the music was notated on the score was so completely different from anything I've ever encountered before. For example, in the fourth prelude, which is titled At the Window, it sounds very free and improvisatory upon first listening. However, in reality, it is highly structured with changing meters almost every single bar throughout the entire piece. And Mr. Bashaw was so particular about his rhythmic notation that when I first began practicing the piece, I had to count like this. And so on so forth for a couple hundred more times before it became natural and organic. And as you can see on the programs, the Titles of these preludes are quite imaginative, so I decided to email the composer and ask him what he had to say about it. And about the fourth prelude, he said, he, the title invites the listener to imagine a closed, transparent window opening up to an awareness of different, distant existences. Now, the fifth prelude is titled Dita Correnti, which means Fingers running in Italian. And it presents a whole new set of challenges. It is fast, it is perpetual motion, and it pretty much covers the entire keyboard within two minutes. Structurally speaking, there is what the composer refers to as the home unit. And he instructs us to play this in a machine-like manner, as if our fingers are detached from the rest of our motionless bodies. And this would return throughout the piece, and whenever every variation upon this home unit, he instructs us to perform this in a more natural, expressive, and human-like manner. Etc. And about this prelude, he says the performer reveals there are two personalities that are revealed as the movement unfolds in a alternating, even escalating dialogue and something inside the machine pulls away from itself, but it always gets pulled back. For me personally, I thought this was, I think this is a, almost a satirical mockery of the modern society's addiction and attachment to their electronics and machinery. So without further ado, here are the preludes by Howard Bashaw.
Thank <laughs> you.
beautiful D flat major nocturne by Frederick Chopin. Chopin have always had a special place in my heart, and I am so delighted to be presenting not only one, but two of what I believe to be his greatest works. I wanted to show the two different sides of Chopin by contrasting the brevity and beautiful simplicity of the nocturne you just heard to the more complex, the more highly dramatic and large scale work of that of a sonata, which I'm playing after, which I'm playing now. And this sonata is quite possibly his biggest uh, work that he wrote for the solo piano, and it encompasses four movements, and I hope you will enjoy this journey as much as I will. <clears throat>